Welcome to the NBA Pick Show presented by Underdog Fantasy. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville, and we've got three great picks for you. If you guys are playing NBA Pick'em on Underdog Fantasy, if you don't have Underdog Fantasy, go ahead and download it. Use the promo code LINESTAR when you do to get up to $100 of your first deposit match. Yesterday on the show, just one and two on our picks got a little bit unlucky. Tyler, I believe DeMar DeRozan got ejected. Um, yeah. What was that all about? Oh, just a couple flagrants. Uh, Dylan Brooks on the other side got ejected also. And then we had foul trouble with Jabari Smith. He got in foul trouble very quickly. I think he only played seven minutes in the first half and only ended the game with 20. Uh, it was it was a rough one. Ugh. Well, MPJ hit for me in the over against my Knicks, though, so that one hurt a little bit. But as I got a little trolled in the comments yesterday for going against my Knicks, but it cashed. So, you know, I'll take it to the bank there with that one. For all of our picks, again, they're on Underdog Fantasy. If you don't have that yet, download it. Promo code is LimeStar for that. And if you're watching right now on YouTube, do us a huge favor. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below because a comment will also enter you in to our Pick'em contest. If we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. We had a winner earlier this week in a our three for three entry on, I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday. So hopefully we'll be giving out another $60 on Monday and we'll also get to sit off the money gun which is also exciting and today I actually have I included a bonus college basketball pick for you guys as well so lots to look forward to on today's show we're going to start off with line stars props AI pick this is the linestarapp.com pick and we're going to start things off with Cleveland Cavaliers big man Jared Allen higher than 17 and a half points line stars projection for Allen 18.8 Allen's been averaging 18 and a half in the month of March and has gone higher than 17 and a half in six of the last 10. He is going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are six in points to opposing centers. However, they are very thin at their bigs. Carl Anthony Towns is out in this one. Also listed as questionable is Rudy Gobert. Anthony Edwards is also listed as questionable in this matchup, but this is an area we targeted earlier this week and it cashed for us with Jokic. So I'm just going to go back here with Jarrett Allen. What do you think, Tyler? Yeah, also Nas Reed is uh, questionable. So even if Gobert is out, Nas Reed might not play. So this uh, Minnesota team is super thin and Allen can definitely do it. Allen has a huge ceiling. He got 33 versus them last time he played them. And he's averaging, you know, over this line. And it could be a very good spot if uh, Gobert is out. Right. This is a very low game total here. However, five of the last starting centers have gone higher than that 17 and a half mark nice spot especially you mentioned the 33 points he put up against them earlier this month and that was with gobert in the lineup so if gobert is out of the lineup yeah. this is a huge boost for us and we're getting it at good value so nice pick there and we yeah might... go ahead oh i was gonna say and last year when he when alan faced them he was over as well and that was with cat and uh Ooh. gobert healthy so not a bad spot there, despite the low game total. Next up, Tyler and I are going to give our best bets on underdog fantasy. Tyler, what's your favorite pick on underdog fantasy today? Uh, my favorite pick is Tyrese Maxey, higher than nine rebounds plus assist, playing the Lakers, who aren't great versus uh, point guard, and they're not great versus point guards getting rebounds and assists. Our line star projections 11. The consensus is 9.5. Nine of 10 point guards facing the Lakers have gone over. The one that didn't go over was a push. So zero have gone under in the last 10. Lakers are allowing 12.1 per game. Maxi's averaging 9.3 per game over the last 20. So I think it's a really good spot to uh, push the higher. Tyler, with our line star props AI pick being Jared Allen. I'm going to do a little correlation, especially since we're all putting all of these in an entry on underdog fantasy. So correlation is always good for those tickets when we have multiple players in them. And I'm going with Darius Garland, higher than six and a half assists, line star projecting Garland for seven. Consensus is just under seven. And in fact, Garland has gone higher than six and a half assists in six of the last 10, averaging just under seven in the month of March. Cleveland without three of their five starters, Donovan Mitchell, Max Struess, and Evan Mobley in this one. Without those guys, 
Garland gets a 15% usage increase, slight uptick in his assists per 100 as well. And again, Minnesota fourth in assist to point guard, but without their key players. Could be without Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards in this one, and Carl Anthony Towns is already listed as out in this one. So with that Jared Allen pick, I could see a scenario in which Darius Garland is just feeding the rock inside and just pounding the paint there, especially if the Minnesota Timberwolves are thin at bigs. What do you think? Absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, Levert has probably been, been getting a little bit more assist love than Garland lately, but it shouldn't be like that. Garland is the better passer. He's going to have the point, uh, the ball in his hand more. I think there's a very, very high likelihood of that reverting back to Garland today. Yeah. I mean, earlier this week, I took Garland in his points, rebounds, and assists. It didn't quite go over missed by one and so i'm feeling confident especially given the usage increase without donovan mitchell max Struess, and evan mobley in the lineup uh, he gets the biggest usage increase so i'm just going to roll with this one we're going to put it all on a ticket on underdog fantasy and you can tail us there as well make sure to use that promo code linestar if you are new to underdog fantasy so you can get that 100 deposit match and tyler it's a special today college basketball we've got some hoops in action for today so i did a little deep dive into the line star app and i found a pretty good pick for you guys if you're watching saint mary's tonight you may want to throw this on an underdog fantasy ticket how about senior center mitchell saxon higher than seven and a half rebounds line stars projecting saxon for eight and a half and the consensus which takes a look at all of the industry leaders and their projections is projecting 8.68 Saxon's been averaging seven and a half rebounds per game this season. He just had 15 boards against Gonzaga. 6'10", West Coast Conference Defensive Player of the Year. This is also a low game total, the second lowest game total of the slate for today. So what does that mean? Rebound opportunities, especially in the first round of the tournament. We're looking at a lot of missed shots, so rebound opportunities are going to be had, especially by a guy like Saxon who can absolutely dominate the glass. You know what? A little uh, college hoops action for you. How's your bracket looking, Tyler? Uh, like everybody's, it's been busted. <laughs> Kentucky killed me. Oh, boy. I, yeah, that, that one actually didn't hurt me too bad. I... Or, yeah, and then there was another – yeah, Kentucky was the big one yesterday, right? I, I'm pretty yeah. sure Kentucky I had a losing in the round of 32 anyways, mm -hmm. so it didn't really bother me. Crazy day. I'm sure there's more crazy moments ahead, so good luck if you guys have a bracket in this year's men's NCAA tournament. And again, if you want to tail us on Underdog Fantasy, go ahead and do so and use that promo code LINESTAR. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Let us know where you are headed on this Friday. Got to get your picks in. Let us know if you've got any locks for tonight. We want to hear from you guys. Good luck out there, and we will see you guys on Monday.